lab controls. Unable to establish a connection to the prototype. Heck, are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <clears throat> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line. And keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape and we'll start a new one. Dude, Institute rifles are my jam. Oh, my lord. Hell yeah. Uh, let's stick you here. Is someone present? Engaging the Head. I definitely don't have any combat kits. Heads hit! Blacking out! Uh -oh. Come on, is that all you got? I was just getting warmed up. I don't have any bandages either. Oh God. Cat, I've made a huge mistake. Oh my God, I can craft five bandages. Wait, can I? No. Can I make one? Dance, are you dead? Multiple sims targets. Take them down. Bro, I got a loot. Gatling laser? Oh, it's dead. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, the Institute uh, rifles. I don't think they're that strong, but I've always loved how they look. And I think in the mod, it feels a little bit better in the mod, so. Got it. The mod rebalanced like all the weapons. Hi. Oh, he's pissed about Covenant. Whoops. Dance, I'm trying to talk. Uh, let's do 
what Let's you see have. what you have. I've got the good stuff. He's got the good stuff, chat. Um, is this heal? Heather's Brahmin Bone Meal. Does that actually heal? Herbal stimulant, speedo tonic. It had it had a healing thing next. Hmm. I think you looted all these guys. Typewriter. Rubbish. You'll get caught up in the. Intro to science. Nice. Grab all that. Oh. Ooh, a scoped variant. Expert terminal. Mm, it's definitely equipped. Not equipped. Uh, produced. Not produced. Uh, acquired. Yes. Uh, convinced on McLean that switch Miriam to. Deuterium. Okay. What about the fuel mixture? Deep range transmitter. Okay. Now we're good. Get that sweet hacking experience. Chem station. Uh, don't think we're making anything here. Got it. to do anything here. Is there a weapon workstation here? I hope so. Oh, there he is. Oh, we need science to work on this. Okay. What about you? Nice. Rapid Eject Magazine. My sure. pleasure. But to serve you, sir. Be more adhesive. Okay. Cool.
Hey, Officer Kin, best of vibes to you, buddy. Damn sins have compromised most of the facility. Good luck in that journey. And this place is a gold mine. Gold mine. Oh my God. Thank you so much for that. Hell yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Hostiles vaporized. Oh my God. Mars shot project. Oh. A photographer made it into the testing area and got fried. Oh God. Ooh. And then he goes, thank God nobody saw it. Yeah. Thank God. Mm -mm, take all my way. God, we have so much stuff. Huggers. Air Department Terminal. This is the part of the job that I love. Standing down. Yeah, uh, with the dude, with this mod, this gun feels beautiful. He's been wrecking face. There we go. Actually, no, just kidding. Point, I want XP. Weapons cold. I think fires so quickly. Do book. I think we need those for something. Any plans to return to Fallout 76? Yes. We're going to be returning to Fallout 76 for the pit expansion, which is coming out later next month. I think. This month. Even better. Yeah, apparently it's going to be some kind of like randomized dungeon thing. Like you make expeditions to the pit. Then I think it, it like, I, I'm, you know what, actually, hold on. Since this is not the first time I've been asked about this, let me let me see if I can get the exact like there's gotta be like a feature set, right? Yeah, expeditions the pit. It's season ten. Uh, they're converting the White Springs Resort into two sections. Upper floor is a refuge which has the NPCs, bottom floor for shopping area is now walled off and requires a load screen. I'm not really sure what the thinking is there. A new currency called Stamps. Certain locations on the map, such as Crater Foundation, Fort Atlas, and Rusty Pit, can now be fast traveled into their interiors, saving loading times. Uh, Fat Rusty Pit no longer requires caps. New players get some extra supplies, such as healing items and crafting items. Known plans are now listed at the bottom of the list of vendor inventories. All that's awesome, but. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Expeditions are story-driven, repeatable missions to various locations, starting with the pit. 
There will be new rewards. The pit will be accessed by a new hub in White Spring. So it's gonna it's gonna be like the thing that the thing that gets me interested in that is one thing that I always felt that Fallout 76 lacked was the end game. Like it got to it got to the point in 76 where like you would log in, do one of like five daily missions or two of five daily missions, and then you'd be done for that day. It kind of sucked. Like it got to the point where there just there wasn't a lot to do. Um so I'm hoping that if they actually put in like repeatable missions that are a little bit girthier, it'll give you, you know, more to do. Sigan says, didn't the pit expedition suck? Very tiny areas. Oh, I don't think these are in yet. Are these in already? No, I thought, I thought this was talking about. I don't think these are in yet. No, they aren't in yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought these are what, like I, from what I understand, these are going to be like the new end game, repeatable daily kind of things. And they're going to be a lot bigger than before. So Sarkon says the problem was too much daily grinding. This is more of that. Well, the, I, th I mean, here's the thing. The whole point of Fallout 76 is it's supposed to give you stuff to do long term. So the idea of there being daily grinding, I don't, I don't think the issue is that there is daily grinding. I think the issue is that the daily grinding sucked and they expected you to do it without there being a lot of variance or frankly interesting things about it. So I think it's much more, it's, I think it's much more about like if the daily grinding was interesting, if you had to do like a daily dungeon and it was randomized and had lots of variation and you know, like that could be fun. I think that could be cool. Um, but that's, that's one of the reasons I stopped playing Fallout 76, like completely. I even did those dailies for like a, a, a few weeks, but man, it got to the point where it was just like, when you've done the exact same mission and heard the exact same dialogue, like five times in a week, it's just like, ugh, this is, it, it was so low effort and low quality. So, um, I'm hoping they're going to address that in the pit. I'm hoping that's going to be like their answer to players that are feeling that way because that's been a pretty resounding bit of feedback to them is the end game just sucked and was boring <laughs> so. ahead. should be our final stop Relis Ghost says Fallout just isn't an MMO trying to make it one is stupid well it's also important it, well I don't know if you mean Fallout Watch isn't your a The idea of, of allowing players to live in a Fallout world, I don't think is a bad idea. If done properly, I think it could be awesome. Look at I still think Fallout 76 could have been awesome. In some ways it is awesome, but I, I don't think that that's, I don't think that's a stupid idea. Like the Fallout world is awesome and giving people interesting and fun and varied things to do in it regularly, I think is a cool premise. But it's not an MMO, it's never been an MMO. Has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area. Fallout 76 is not an MMO. I'll remain here. And watch our backs. It's a it's an online multiplayer game, but it is not an MMO. It's it's like a. You could compare it more to like like a Destiny or a Warframe or something like that. Like it's not it's not an MMO. It's not a World of Warhammer. It's not an EverQuest. It's not a, you know, that kind of stuff. A Borderlands, yeah. Lupus Noctis says, does an MMO have to have static server communities or something? The thing about an MMO, the, the whole point of an MMO is massively, massively multiplayer. Not not small group multiplayer. That's that, Those are two different things. The whole, the whole idea behind a massively multiplayer game is that it's hundreds of people existing in the same world. That's, that's where the massive comes in. Um, when you, when you go into a town and there's a hundred people there, you know what I mean? You're all in the same world. So instead of an MMO, it's an MO. <laughs> but that's an important distinction because it, it, it means it's, it's, it's like a different genre of game. Yeah. I mean, at this point we're talking to semantics, so who really cares? But yeah, I'll get it. 
That's right. Instead of a massively multiplayer game, it's an extreme multiplayer game or an emo. Yeah, that's right. That sounds good. We'll call them emos. I don't think that's termed used for anything else. Oh, look, a junk jet. Yes. Yes. This thing is so ridiculous. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the Warning. Mag. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Let's see them make this in shop class. My marvel of engineering. The finest in weaponized refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. They'll see. The engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning, they'll all see. I think the world ended on Monday morning. Kind of unfortunate for our friendo there. Whoops. Start auxiliary generators. Engine core power restored. I don't think we're alone. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Ouch! Cannot scrap ash piles. Whoops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why do those have stars next to them? God, I have so much stuff. I have to buy a bunch of things off our girl. You okay? Oh my God, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, why do these have stars next to them? Oh. Wait a second. Why do these have no value? Huh. Too bad. Um, do you have anything we want? Where is her inventory? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. Um, I can sell the junk jet quite yet. Spend that much money? 
I think that's a lot. Um, what are these? Box of San Francisco Sunlights? Institute driver. Precision tool. Interesting. Oh. Cool. Play your fusion cores. I wonder if she hangs on to the stuff that we sell her. How overweight am I still? Oh. Corvo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the junk jet just because I'm gonna save it. a charge part. I don't even know what that is. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. Game saved, which is great because I got to go. All right. Thank you all so much for being here today. This has been awesome. I will be back tonight for probably some Xenoblade, as long as I get back in time and everything. We'll see. Uh, I am due to continue that, so we'll probably do some Xenoblade Chronicles 3 this evening. Um, this is a great opportunity to download the mobile app, check out all the fun stuff there, all that good stuff. Hope you check it out. It is pretty awesome. And then tomorrow morning, of course, we'll be back for more Fallout 4, because this has been a fantastic journey. I've been really enjoying it, and uh, we're going to go from there. So yeah, it'll be good. All right, friends. See y'all later. Have a great rest of your day as always. Thank you for being here and I will see you fine folks later tonight or tomorrow for more fun and games.